Hello, 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 and how are you? Do you know, I'm sitting here in my garden shed this evening looking out at the wind howling and there was rain earlier on and everything else and everybody's tweeting and on the television and they're talking about easing the restrictions and brighter days ahead and lots to look forward to. Am I the only one in the country that's not too happy about easing the restrictions? Am I the only one in the country that enjoyed the lockdown? I mean, for the last five months, like, we couldn't go outside our county, but that, that's bad, but nobody outside the county could come in. Now, where I'm looking at here in Longford, like, we're surrounded by Roscommon, West me, Calf and Leitrim. Like, we, they couldn't come in near us. Like, it was peace, it was bliss. Like, we've Connacht there, we've Ulster there, and we're in Leinster. Like, I pleaded for a Lexit years ago for Longford to leave Ireland in a Lexit deal. And I'm telling you one thing, you'd be glad of it now, because you get used to your own. You get used to being in your own little cocoon, and, and not be having to talk to people with strange Roscommon accents west of Ireland, or, or Half, half Ulster cabin accents and the, the Westmead crowd thinking that they're posh or something. Do you know what I mean? Later of our salt in the earth with the rest of them. Now you look at your own county there and from tomorrow, from the 10th of May, they can all come into your county. Do you really want them in your county? Take a look around. Who do you want to come in near you? In fairness. And they're talking about barbers opening up and hairdressers when you get the hair cut. Like, I need a haircut the more, the more than anybody else. I've gone like wild like a bushman. But I tell you, at least I didn't have to worry about my appearance. I could just let myself go in peace and everybody else was sort of letting themselves go and there was no pressure on us. But now from tomorrow, well, well like this lad was, he was great, like, you know. And I, and I only cut the kid's hair twice and they weren't bleeding the last time I did. And they were getting used to it and I was getting good at it. But now the pressure will be on where I have to go to the hairdresser and have to get the tongue done. And they're talking that we can go to Mass. Mass, like, I still have my box of envelopes. Look at every week this year, every envelope is in there. And now they know if it was a Mass or not, because we have, the envelope wouldn't be handed in. Like, there's pressure going to be coming on us here, left, right and centre from tomorrow. And the DGAS and they're like, great that the matches are back. The match. We've gone on our longest streak without losing a game uh, since... The GEA was founded, it's it. But now when the game's starting back, we're going to start losing again. And like, that's not a great story, is it? You know, so that's not all positive. Don't always be, oh, isn't it brilliant? We're up and up. Like, I didn't have to book a foreign holiday this year. I'm after saving thousands and that. I haven't been able to go to the pub or restaurants. I'm saving money hand over face. I'll have more money now. I don't know what to do with it. Do you know? So don't be all saying great, 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 easy restrictions, level five down to level four. For God's sake, I ain't take level five for another ten months. But wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, enjoy it and, and let me lucky. But be careful. They're coming from every county into your county and you'll have to live with the consequences. <laughs> good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck.